Welcome back to another video, and this time I'll show you one of my favorite builds for contract farming in the red zone. So let's try and glitch the likes up on this video to help my channel grow, and be sure to subscribe for more. If you equip the genetic blueprint for the MTZ battle rifle and apply the catgirl camo to it, then it will become glitched out and start glowing. This also works on other blueprints in the game, and you can check out the video in the description showing other camo glitches. The MCW has always been a nicely balanced weapon, and it's now the perfect choice to be a boss killer. With the right attachments, you can have next to no recoil, and it deals a good amount of damage. I start every game with the best loot by doing the tombstone glitch, and you can check out the video in the description showing you how to do it. Farming tier 2 contracts is the perfect way to get the perks required to survive in red, and the loot from tier 2 contracts have been slightly buffed, so you should find better loot than usual if you get lucky. Any tier 3 weapon can quickly drop tier 2 bosses, making this one of the best ways to reach max containment levels. A trick that works for most mimic bounties is to kill the target before going into the building. This works extremely well when using the Scorcher. If your containment level is high enough, the perks will be cheaper, and the first perk you should grab is Deadshot Daiquiri, and the Jug perk with Quick Revive will also help a lot. The quickest way to kill Megas is by shooting them in the face when they attack you with lightning, and you can trigger this by using the Scorcher Jump ability. Land somewhere the Mega can't reach you, and they'll use their ranged attack to try and kill you. Nearby zombies will throw meat, so take them out first, or just stay on the move. You will need to destroy all three heads to kill the Mega, and feel free to join our zombie discord in the description if you need any help in the red zone. I found Manglers took the longest to kill, so equip a Napalm Burst ammo mod to your weapon since Manglers are weak to fire damage. Feel free to change the attachments around, and running mags of holding is strongly recommended since running out of ammo is a big problem with this gun. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out, and drop me a like if it did. If you made it this far, then say the secret word tea time in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!